Hi there! This is another video from my uh, Making Colors Wearable series. I don't know if it's called that way, but that's just what it is. In the past weeks I did a wearable green look, a wearable purple look, and now we're going to do a wearable teal look or turquoise because I don't know what's the difference. But anyways, what I wanted to inspire you with this series is that colors can be as wearable as neutrals if you make them soft enough. Basically, you don't have to always reach for neutrals when you're doing an everyday makeup. I am trying to create colorful looks that create the same feeling as a neutral look. I don't know, me when I'm wearing a neutral look, I feel in the safe zone somehow. It's just that I feel comfortable and I know that no one is going to stare weirdly at me and my makeup. So with this series I wanted to create the same kind of looks but with colors, so making them very everyday appropriate. Let's get started with the makeup tutorial. I'm just going to do my eyeshadow on camera today. I did my face not really off camera because I filmed an Instagram video and a TikTok video and a YouTube short. It's just a busy day. <laughs> so I have my eyelids primed, I do have a little bit of concealer on them and we're going to try to make teal wearable. I admit that this is the most challenging one from what I did until now, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> my definition of wearable teal would be the Naked Wild West palette from Urban Decay because it has this kind of a teal that's a little bit more toned down. It's not that kind of a really bright in your face kind of a teal. I'm going to combine it with neutrals. By the way, you can also check out uh, another look that I did with this palette that I feel like, again, it's very suitable for every day. I just did a teal liner for that one. But today we're going to try to incorporate even more teal in my makeup. Let's start by adding a little bit of a base color, which is going to be a neutral, a cool toned actually, because teal is cool toned and I want to pair it with another cool toned shadow. Uh, it's going to be this one from the Naked Wild West. I'm just going to pick it up on a blending brush. And this is a Juvia's Place 006 brush. I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm going to place this shade. I'm starting from my outer corner. I want the main concentration to be here and then I'm going to blend it into the outer part of my crease. I'm being very gentle with it. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the brush. And gently blending it into the inner portion of my crease. I'm actually applying it kind of a little bit above my crease since I have deep set eyes, whatever I apply directly in my crease won't be visible. So I'm applying it a little bit above it on this kind of a area. I also want to push it back visually because of my eye shape, this area is really pushed forward. This will not turn into a makeup for deep set eyes video. <laughs> but if you're interested in that, I'm going to link a very in-depth tutorial on uh, my screen. On the screen. Is this my screen? Yeah, it's my screen because like, it's my YouTube video. Or is it your screen? Because you're the one who's watching. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that shade and place it on my lower lash line as well. But I'm going to concentrate it into the outer corner and connecting it to the top part to create a little bit of an extension here kind of like a cat eye but like a soft one because it's an everyday makeup by the way you can use your contour powder for this step because um, it's probably cool tone and it's a little bit darker than your skin tone but not too dark so that would be perfect i also think this would be a nice contour shade for me um, i don't know if it's like too cool tone maybe i'll try it someday Okay, I've been blending this shade for way too long. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna use a flat brush. This is a Morphe M124. And I'm going to pick up this teal here, which is a shimmer. That's why I'm using a flat brush. Uh, flat brushes kind of pick up the shimmers a little bit better. You can also use your finger, but with the finger application, the shade is going to look even more vibrant. And I want it to be really toned down. That's why I'm using a brush. I'm really tapping off the excess. Let's hope this will be wearable. Again, I'm being very gentle with it. It's just that me and cool tones, hmm, usually we're not besties. <laughs> Make sure to really fade it into the outer corner by uh, tapping and applying less pressure on the brush. <sighs> I think this is soft enough, but I'm actually not going to stop here. 
I want to add a little bit more teal to intensify my outer corner especially. I want a little bit of a darker shade. I could go for a neutral to really stay in the safe zone, but I want to try and apply the text shade right here. I'm going to pick it up on a small detail brush, tap on the excess, and I'm going to place it at the base of my lashes just in my outer corner. And after I place down the pigment, I can start blending it upwards. So it really lifts my outer corner visually. I'm picking up a little bit more and create kind of like a, a, I don't know, it's not a V, it's just a shape in my outer corner. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the fluffy brush to really blend it up. And I don't know why, but I feel like applying a little bit of that dark teal right here kind of on the inner portion of my eye but again keeping it very close to my lash line and I will use whatever is left on the brush to intensify the outer corner of my lower lash line but again very very close to my actual lashes and applying a little bit of that dark teal in the inner corner as well I don't know what I'm trying to create maybe like the softest halo ever <laughs> This is the second delivery man today that saw me with an eye done and one eye bare. Hopefully they didn't notice I was like looking at the ground, pretending I was looking at stuff, so <laughs> whatever. I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I'm using my highlighter, my e.l.f. baked highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I want to bring a little bit of light here. And underneath the arch of my brow as well. I'm looking at it wondering if it's soft enough. I mean, it's teal. For me, teal, especially for my warm complexion, it looks a little bit obvious. But I think we managed to make it soft enough. I will complete this eye look with mascara, but first I'm going to curl my lashes. And I need to heal up my lash curler. I really think mascara will really tie this look together. I like tilting my lash curler like this to get a really, really nice curl. And I'll be using my The Mascara from Sephora Collection. I got it in my hair. I'm starting at the base of my lashes and wiggling my brush to really coat the lashes into the product. I got a really big blob of mascara on my lids, but we're going to clean it up. And I always apply two coats of mascara. So I dipped back into the tube and applying one more coat. And I'm also going to use it on my lower lashes. Time to clean up this blob. You want the blob of mascara to dry first. Then you, you're going to want to take a spoolie and wipe it away. Moving on to the lips, I think I want to apply a cool tone as well. So I'm going to line my lips with this Boys and Berries pencil in the shade Dusty Brown. I was looking for my NYX uh, nude beige, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't know where I put it. This is kind of similar, but a little bit darker. I'm overlining in the center. I'm not applying a lot of pressure on the pencil, so I don't get a very dark shade. And on my bottom lip, uh, following my lip line actually. In the center of my lips, I'm going to apply something a little bit lighter to create a little bit more volume. I'm going to go for my Sleek Matte Me in the shade Feels, just a tiny dot on each lip. And I'm going to blend it with my finger. This is actually pretty warm in tone, but like, whatever. <laughs> I actually think I'm going to keep it matte, because I really like how it looks. I even forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, make sure to also join the challenge of uh, wearing color in your everyday looks. Each week I'm doing a different color, this week I did teal, so make sure to send me your selfies wearing teal, I would love to see it. You can DM me on Instagram, I have the same username, at raluka.makeup. I'll be waiting for your teal eye bids. <laughs> and I wanted to thank um, those of you that joined in the purple challenge. I only received one selfie, but like it's enough for me. Thank you for sending me the selfie, you know who you are. <laughs> so this is the look all complete. I really hope you like it and you find it wearable. I think it's pretty soft, even though I feel like it's a little bit more than the purple and the green. Those two felt really, really wearable to me. This one, because it's teal, it kind of conflicts my skin tone, but I really like it nonetheless, and I think it's soft enough. But let me know what you think. Would you wear this in like an everyday situation? I'm curious and I wanna hear your opinions. Dude, I added a little bit more teal. I mean, I added a tiny bit more teal shimmer with my finger, because that didn't even look teal to me, because I was trying to get a selfie to post on my Instagram stories 
and it didn't look teal at all and I was like maybe it's the camera that washes out the look so I added a tiny bit more teal so it's visible that it's teal and not neutral <laughs> and also that um, shimmer from the Wild West palette is kind of um, a little bit translucent somehow I feel like it has some kind of a neutral base it's weird like you can see through it somehow so um, this is the look all complete i want to thank you so much for watching today's video and i hope i'll see you in my next one bye